today we will be having a new educational video and we will be talking about teaching with technology. So this video will help you know what is the importance or what is the use of technology in teaching. So just keep on watching. Teaching with technology. Teaching with technology is a broad topic that includes the use of media tools integrated within learning management system and or those run more independently over the internet. It also involves the differing media types which is the social or dyadic and function which is the synchronous or asynchronous. In light of these multiple possibilities, the most consistent tip that arises in research pertaining to teaching with technology is that we choose particular technologies based on their compatibilities with the teaching and learning objectives associated with our courses and or their individual units. So why we use technology in teaching? First is to enhance relationships between teachers and students. In establishing a positive relationship with teachers, it can help a student to feel more comfortable and safe in their classroom environments. And as a result, students are more likely to participate actively in class and challenge themselves academically. Next is to effectively integrate technology into subject areas. Effective integration of technology is achieved when students are able to select technology tools to help them obtain information in a timely manner, analyze and synthesize the information and present it professionally. The last one is helps make teaching and learning more meaningful and fun. So teachers use activities that make learning engaging and fun. Students are more willing to participate and take risks. Having fun while learning also helps students retain information better because of the process is enjoyable and memorable. Let's move on to the next slide. Why we need technology? Technology ushers in fundamental structural changes that can be significant improvements in productivity and support both teaching and learning. The implementation of technology in schools help close that gap. Technology has the ability to enhance relationship between teachers and students. Technology helps make teaching and learning more meaningful and fun. Students are also able to collaborate with their own classmates through technological applications. How does this help? First, allow students more control of their own learning. So the words knowledge is a few clicks away and today, learners can decide how to get in touch with it. Thanks to the technology, students can design their own learning, road setting up their goals and deciding how to show what they know, what they learn and what they can do. Next, it allows students to build up knowledge and become part of the teaching process. So students learn by connecting new knowledge with knowledge and concepts that they already know, most effectively in active social classrooms where they negotiate understanding through interaction and varied approaches. So lastly, it can provide some really engaging learning experiences. So students can create simple science experiments, allow students to work together, incorporate hands-on activities, give students a brain break, go on a field trip, and make a review time fun. So now let's move on to the next slide. So what is integrating technology into teaching and learning? First, we have the use of technology to enhance and support the educational environment. So technology in education enables children to adjust to their own pace of learning. Students who need extra time can spend more time going over exercise until they understand, while students who need less support can continue ahead. It also frees up the teacher to help kids who need more support on an individual level. So the next one is support classroom instruction by creating opportunities for students. So being a student, you have to study with fun. This is the phase when you can have a good classroom experiences, learn new things, and students get a chance to explore this open world and learn new things in every day of your school. The last one is provides opportunities for more learner-centered instruction. A more student-centered approach prepare students for the many distractions of adulthood. Students gain an understanding of their own learning style. They get more control over how they spend their time and they get to collaborate with other students. So now let's move on to the best practices in higher education. First, we have the demonstrate instructional balance in learning. In balanced instruction, students are taught sometimes in ways that match their preferences and sometimes in ways that don't. At the same time, they are sometimes taught against their preferences which helps them build important skills they might never develop if they were only taught as they prefer. 
Next, involve students in high-density reading and writing instruction. Enable the assistance of peers in planning, drafting, and revising compositions. Set clear goals for writing and reading that are specific to the purpose and type of reading and writing test. Have students regularly use computers or word processing for writing instead of only pencil and paper. Next is provide effective scaffolding for student and learning. So it is a process through which a teacher adds supports for students in order to enhance learning and aid in the mastery of tests. So let's move on to the produce self-directed learners. Self-directed learners can generate their own learning, select from their environment appropriate resources needed for learning, and generate with other motivation and goals to promote and develop with others dialogue for learning and interrelate learning from various contexts of their learning landscapes. And lastly, we have the maintain effective classroom management. Effective classroom management requires awareness, patience, and good timing, boundaries, and instinct. There's nothing easy about shepherding a large group of easily distractible young people with different skills and temperaments along a meaningful learning journey. So the next slide is Technology Infuses. Technology Infuses is a digital learning tool such as computers and handheld devices expand course offerings, experiences, and learning materials. So this is the process of strategically binding technical needs and potential solutions. So now we have the next slide which is the blended learning. So blended learning is an approach to education that combines online educational materials and opportunities for interaction online with traditional place-based classroom methods. So it requires the physical presence of both teacher and students with some elements of student control over time, place, and paths. We have here first, incorporate both face-to-face -face and online learning opportunities and second is often utilized to accommodate students' diverse learning styles and to enable them to work before or after school in ways that are not possible with full-time conventional classroom instruction. Instructional Technology so it is a systematic way of designing, carrying out, and evaluating the total process and learning and teaching in terms of specific objectives. Also, it includes the computer-based learning, online learning via the World Wide Web, instructional videos or just-in-time learning, modules used in government or businesses. The main purpose of instructional technology is to create engaging, effective learning experiences using available technological tools for pedagogical purposes and motivation. Some example is interactive collaboration, gathering feedback, embedding questions in videos, active learning, social learning, using technology to help ensure engagement with digital content, student-created presentation, and lastly, the project-based learning. So now let's move on to the next slide, which is the PowerPoint presentation. So PowerPoint presentation is a uh, app gives you access to the familiar tool you already know. Quickly create, edit, view, present, or share presentation quickly and easy. So what I'm doing now or what I'm presenting now is a PowerPoint presentation. So in my slide, we have three tips that you must follow. First is be simple or simplify the difficult materials. So you must use the slide master feature to create a consistent and simple design template. It is fine to vary the content presentation, for example, the bulleted list, two column text, text and image, but be consistent with other elements such as font, colors, and background. So we have the second one, use it as a supplement, not the entire presentation. So you must simplify and limit the number of words on each screen. Use key phrases and include only essential information. You can also limit the punctuation and avoid putting words in all capital letters. And at this space on the slide will enhance readability. And lastly, we have the focus on learning, not in technology. So it cannot be denied that technology can provide a huge distraction to students as well as educators and parents alike. So you must focus on the learning, not in technology. So now let's move on to the next slide and the last topic. We have the 4K areas in technology teaching. First is increase learner motivation. Second is advanced topic mastered. Third is students acting as experts. And the fourth one is the better outcomes in standardized tests. So that's it for today's video. Hope you learned something. And please click the subscribe button and notification bell below for more updates. See you on my next video. Bye!
We need technology in every classroom and in every student and teacher's hand because it is the pen and paper of our time and it is the lens through which we experience much of our world. David Warley.